Hello guys and welcome back. This is F18C Countermeasures Tutorial Part 2. As I was discussing that there's only one way to edit the um, countermeasure store in the F18 while in the cockpit and you have to wait until there's weight off wheels so you have to wait until you're airborne and you know depending on how long the flight is you may not have a whole lot of time to be setting up countermeasure profiles so there is a way around this it just requires a little bit of digging. You can enter the Lua file manually, and guys, this does not require a whole lot of skill. Don't be afraid of this. You know, it's it's not hard. Okay, this people start talking about editing scripts and Lua files and freak out. You don't need to. Okay, I'm gonna show you how simple this really is. So, the one caveat to doing this method is I believe that every update will um, overwrite this. So this is something that you probably want to use with OVGME or keep a backup of your created file. Um, that way um, you can just copy and paste it back in after each um, update. So we're going to go into DCS World Open Beta for me. This would be just DCS World if you're on the stable version. Okay, so find your installation directory. We're going to go into DCS World Open Beta. We're going to come in here and go to Mods, Aircraft, F-18C, Cockpit, Scripts, TEWS, device you can see it right here commands ale 47.lua now um, I recommend if you don't have it get notepad plus plus it's a free software it's non-invasive it doesn't put adware it doesn't put anything else on your machine um, just look for the 64-bit version if you're running Windows 10 or 7 um, it's a very very handy text editor um, I use it for work all the time I do IT for a living so trust me it's very very handy if you don't have notepad plus plus or don't want to put anything on just hit open with and find your regular you know hit uh, more apps and find your regular notepad okay but I'm gonna show you why so here's what looks like a notepad okay kind of crappy and then for example here's what notepad plus plus looks like okay it breaks it down Okay, it recognizes it as a Lua language and makes it a little bit easier to see. So now you can see what the program names are. You don't want to be playing with this. What you're looking for are these, and it's default manual presets. Manual 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. You want to stop right here. Okay, you don't need to mess with 6. If you want to, you can. Um, these are the auto presets I was telling you about if you're in auto mode. Okay, but um, again, I wouldn't even mess with those. All we're interested in is the ones that we enter. These are 1 through 5, manuals 1 through 5 are what we edit in the cockpit. Okay, so if we go into, for example, here, let's just mess with program 1. And let's say we want 0 chaff. Let's say we want to do 4 flare. And we want to do an interval of point, uh, let's do 0.5, half a second. And we want it to repeat or cycle. Um, let's do like three times. That's 12 flares. That should be fine. Okay. And we're just going to hit save. Okay. That's all I'm going to do here. And like I said, because I've made a change, I'm going to go ahead and make a copy of this. And you can put this wherever you want for the tutorial sake. I'm putting it on the keyboard or on the keyboard on the desktop. And now let's launch DCS again. Okay, so as you can see, we're back inside the cockpit of the F-18. So if we come down here to our EW page, go into our ALE-47, go to ARM, and there's our profile 1. So remember, we said no chaff, 4 flare. We said we wanted to repeat 3 times at an interval of half a second. Okay, so you guys can preset that in the notepad that we created and um, be able to... Um, have this every single time you launch the aircraft. You won't have to set this up each individual time anymore, and that saves you a lot of time and a lot of hassle. So if there are particular profiles that you'd like to have in the aircraft, you find yourself setting it the same way every single time, I recommend you do this. Just make sure you keep that backup of the, cop of the um, file that you make. That way, every time there's an update and it overwrites it, you don't have to worry about it. Okay, you know, you just go back to that directory, copy your your created uh, Lua into that directory, and bam, you've got your profiles back. Okay, um, and then one last thing, just to set every one of these. As you can see here, it does not break integrity check. Okay, so if you have any worries about that, this is completely safe. Doesn't break IC. Um, saves you a heck of a lot of time. One last thing to hassle with when you're en route to your target area. 
Um, I hope you, hope you guys enjoyed this, and uh, if you have any questions or have any difficulties using this, by all means, leave me any questions or comments in the field below, as always, and I will see you guys in the next one. Take care.